We recently hung out with the youth in L.A. while they prepare for their upcoming tour. And they took some time out of their busy schedule to give us the details on their emotional workout, their thoughts on the human skull, and they told us what they have in common with Metallica. You are about to see and hear one of the most significant messages. What is the normal sort of gear up process for you guys before you go on tour? I like to sit down in the corner and have a good sob. Cried out. Mm -hmm. 45 minutes a day of crying. At least. You can combine that with cardio. Mm -hmm. And then. Cardio is what it's called. <laughs> When was the last time you guys played a live show together? A year. <laughs> yep, November of last year. It's almost like a Metallica hiatus. Yeah, 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 yeah. When you're on tour, you get to see kids at your shows and you get to see that you're playing and it's like you're doing what you love and everything, but then when you're off for like a year, I don't know, it's just... Yeah, it feels different. We all feel very, very regular. Does this drag on for you guys as well? No, it's cool. I mean, every day that we're on this earth is a second closer when we're going to have to be off the, off the air. No. So we're just taking it. We're just taking it how it comes. Can I ask you about the skull in your house? That was a gift from Quinn. What? Just how amazing is it? It's, he was an Indian guy. That's all we know about him. Nicole so Richie, you are. <laughs> Come on, baby. There's no disrespect involved with owning a human skull. I just think that it's so amazing. But Doesn't that creep you out? No. 